Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this video, we will learn the Strangler design pattern for microservices. I'll explain this design pattern with real world example. Later, we'll explain the use cases and benefits of this design pattern. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about decomposed by transaction design pattern. Can you explain what is decomposed by transaction design pattern? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video. The link is provided on your screen and also provided in the description section of this video. Just to recall decomposed by transaction design pattern, that pattern says decompose monolithic application based on transactions to avoid the need of distributed transactions. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. Friends, here is the agenda for this video. That is the introduction of a strangler design pattern. Then I'll show you the real world example of a strangler design pattern. Then we'll understand where to use a strangler design pattern in our project. Then we'll understand the benefits of a strangler design pattern. Then I'll summarize the strangler design pattern and quickly we'll touch upon our next video on bulkhead design pattern. So stay with me till end of this video this is going to be very exciting and there is a lot of learning in this video friends before we proceed in this video i want you to subscribe my channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality contents for you but i am not getting subscribers i want you to like share and subscribe my channel so that i can grow code one digest family thank you so let's begin okay friends so let's start with the strangler design pad what is a strangler design pattern it says this is a fourth design pattern in decomposition design pattern category and the strangler design pattern is a popular design pattern to incrementally transform your monolithic application into microservices by replacing a particular functionality with new services once the new functionality is ready the old component is strangled the new services is put into the use and old component is decommissioned later any new development is done as a part of new services and not part of the old monolithic application so there are three stages in strangler design pattern that we have to follow first is transform then coexist and eliminate you need to have a process in place to streamline this transition from monolithic to microservices. For implementing a strangler design pattern, you have to follow these three steps of transformation, coexist, and eliminate. The strangler design pattern is one in which the old system is put behind an arbitrary facade. Then over the time, external replacement services for the old system are added behind the facade. Modernizing an old application by incrementally developing a new is called as a strangler the strangler application consists of a two type of services first they are services that implement functionality that previously resides in the monolithic second they are services that implement new features the latter are particularly useful since they demonstrate to the business the value of using microservices you can develop a new component let both the new and old component exist for a period of time and finally terminates the old component. That's where we do the transformation and then coexist and then eliminate. The cloud migration journey is not easy and you will bump into the multiple hurdles. Hence, a strangler design pattern assists you in the making this journey a bit painless and risk-free. Since you are dealing with a small component at one time, it's not a big undertaking when you plan to do the migration in increments and small pieces. Okay, friends, so let's understand a strangler design pattern with a real world example. So, in this image, in this diagram, the order service is eventually strangled from monolithic into independent deployable service with its own CI CD pipeline on the right hand side. Team A is now not dependent upon any issue with other teams right so likewise we can build 
we can create more services similar to pricing title and currency service and then we can strangle the whole our legacy monolithic application this has to happen in a phased manner that is why we have a three stages in strangler design pattern where we transform each functionality into a new service then this new service and monolithic application coexist for some time and then new services replaces the existing functionality right so it has to be done in a in a phased and planned manner this helps you in avoiding the risk of bringing down the whole monolithic application and you can gradually sequentially achieve your goal of transforming all monolithic application using this pattern now if you see the final outcome of strangler design pattern look like this where all the services all the functionalities we have migrated to individual microservices and now it's time for decommissioning the monolithic application because we are now routing all the traffic from gateway to our new service instead of our, our old monolithic application so now new services take the control and start serving the customer now you can decommission your monolithic application right now let's understand strangler design pattern with one more example how it is eliminating the monolithic application in a phased manner if you see in this picture initially all the application traffic is routed to legacy monolithic application once the new component is built you can also test your new functionality in parallel against the existing monolithic code that is this is the phase where the two systems are coexist your monolithic application as well as new microservices both the monolithic and new built component need to be functional for a period of time sometimes the transitional phase can last for an extended duration when new component has been incrementally developed and tested you can get rid of the legacy monolithic application now the first question is strike to a mind how do you select which component to strangle or refactor first if you are following strangler design pattern for the first time and are new to this design pattern playing a safe and selecting a simple component is not a bad option this will ensure that you gather practical knowledge and acclimatize yourself about the changes and best practices before strangling a complex component if there are component which has good test coverage and less technical depths associated with it starting with this component can give teams a lot of confidence during the migration process if there are component which are better suited for cloud and have scalability requirement then start with that particular component if there is a component which has frequent business requirement and hands need to be deployed lot more regularly you can start with that component you will ensure that you don't have to redeploy the entire monolithic application regularly breaking up into a separate process will allow you to independently scale and deploy the application right so very first question comes to our mind where to use in which scenario we can use strangler design pattern so i'll help you out with few guidelines use this pattern whenever you want to migrate your big bang monolithic application with microservice application in a phased manner use this pattern to avoid risk of bringing down the whole big bang monolithic application at once use this pattern when you want to avoid risk of losing your customer base by bringing down the monolithic application you can gradually build the capabilities in form of new microservices and start routing the traffic to the new services whenever they are ready so you have a whole legacy application then you can use a strangler pattern to migrate to transform it into a new microservice architecture right so friends what advantage do we get using this design pattern what advantage we get by applying a strangler design pattern in our project the strangler design pattern provides a way to reduce risk when doing a system transformation 
Strangler design pattern keeps old services in play while refactoring to updated version. It also adds unique new services while refactoring the old services. Hence, both the systems, new and old, coexist for some time. This coexistence of old and new services helps in validating the functionality. We can validate the functionality in both in old and, and new system at the same time to make sure that user experience, user behavior, and handling is not changed with the new application. Right? Okay, friends, now let me summarize what we learned in this video today. I give you an introduction of a strangler design pattern. Then we saw some real world examples of a strangler design pattern. We understood how it is used and how it helps us in eliminating the monolithic application with the new microservices. Then we understood the benefits of strangler design pattern, what advantages it offers in transforming your monolithic application to our microservice application. We also understood the use cases in which scenario we should go for a strangler design pattern. We understood that strangler design patterns are ideal for transforming the monolithic application to microservice application. Friends, let me know if you have already used this design pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful. Please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Friends, in the next video, we will discuss about bulkhead design pattern. I'll explain you what is bulkhead design pattern. I will show you the real world example of bulkhead design pattern. Then we'll understand the use cases of bulkhead design pattern and we will see the benefits of bulkhead design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and keep watching Code One Digest. If you are new to the channel, so please do subscribe to the channel to grow our Code One Digest family. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.